Hey artists, how's it going? It's Monster Paws, and today I have a question for you. What's your favorite scary movie? In celebration of Halloween, I'm going to be doing a drawing of Ghostface from Scream, which is my favorite scary movie. I'm starting off with a sketch and filling in all the black parts of the mask. I just want to say that for whatever reason, for this particular drawing, I just had the worst time getting the right angle and, you know, the right lighting because it was like no matter what angle I put the camera at, there was always a glare on the paper for, for no reason. I was just like, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not doing anything different that I would be doing for other drawings. So why is this one just like so washed out and like there's a giant glare on the paper? at all times. I just don't understand it. I don't understand it. I can't technology. I don't know what, what, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm a bad YouTuber. Just, just kill me. <laughs> so all in all, I don't have a whole lot to say about this picture. Um, it took me about a total of two hours to finish and that's just a great change of pace from the other drawings that I've, I usually do that take, you know, 14,000 years to finish. So, you know, that was nice. And um, I did this drawing also because I want to be more confident with putting down darker colors. Um, the reference picture that I was using has a lot of deep shadows and a lot of white or a lot of light highlights and I find myself when I'm drawing realism that I tend to shy away from putting in dark shadows where dark shadows really need to go to create more contrast and uh, it's kind of like it's nerve-wracking because you can always add more shadows but you can't you know, really, if you're doing marker, you can't lighten shadows if you put too dark of a shadow, you know what I mean? So, um, I did this because, like I said, there was a lot of shadows and I wanted to just jump right into the shadows and just, you know, freaking make those shadows dark as shit the first time and be confident in my choice. And, uh, I think it helped a lot. I don't think I was you know, 100% confident in making my choices, but I think I did a pretty good job for doing this little exercise. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm really surprised that I've never drawn Ghostface before because the Scream movies were such a big part of my childhood and I was watching them when I was probably way too young to be watching uh, rated R slasher movies, but you know, YOLO. Of the two hours that it took me to make this picture, I probably spent about an hour trying to decide what I wanted to put in the background, and eventually I just decided on a black background with some streaks in it, because I'm basic. So that's what I chose, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Alright you guys, looks like we're nearing the end of the video. Don't forget to comment down below and tell me what's your favorite scary movie and also how old were you when you first saw that movie. I know I was probably about six and it scared the fucking shit out of me and for probably three years straight I was dreaming that there was a fucking crazy psycho ghost face killer that was gonna come and cut me into little small pieces and eat me for dinner.
Okay, artists, thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to smack that ass on that like button. You can also subscribe. We do art things. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Pinterest, Instagram. All the links will be in the description below. And as always, don't quit your daydream.